this is my little tree that I was given so much trouble to put up. It is not even my height. Like, I don't even know. I've never put up a Christmas tree by myself before. I'm putting it in this corner like I showed you guys. So I'm moving out this plant, which is my faux fiddle leaf, which a lot of people think is real. And to be honest, I just let them. <laughs> so I have like one of these really old time trees, like the ones where you actually have to put in the branches. So I'm putting it here. Of course, I don't even have a tree scoot, but I'm not even going to make that an issue at this point or else I just will not get anything done. I have this and I have to actually like sort out the branches. So we'll have to do that. And each one of them, it's lettered. I know this is like so vintage. I just don't even know. So I have like this box <laughs> and I'm just basically going to go ahead and sort out each one of them is color coded. So I am going to go ahead and, you know, just like sort this out. Oh my goodness, that is Coco doing weird things in the corner there. But yeah, I can just see. I am not sure what my cats are going to do. This is the first time that they are seeing like a Christmas tree. So I found a smaller Christmas tree inside of this box. So I guess I could put this like in my bedroom or somewhere. That might be really nice. And I just feel as if this is going to take me forever to go through. This is probably why I just did not want to put up the tree in the first place because I just knew it was like a really old fashioned tree. So maybe next year when i'm like more settled down i can get like a bigger well not a bigger like a tree that just like flaps down And I actually am um, really, it is so cute. It just fits so perfectly in this corner. And it is just like a perfect tree for me because I am living alone. This is just so cute. So I'm going to go sweep a little bit underneath because it has like so much things. You guys also, it was like such a bad idea to do the branches from top go down. I don't know why I thought that would ever be a good idea. You obviously should do it bottom go up, makes more sense. I really do not have any idea of how people do really big trees. Like this tree is so small, I am taller than it and I literally want to 
died. So I'm gonna get my lights now. Don't scream. I know you guys are probably gonna be like, this is so me. And it's not gonna come as a shock. But I am doing just lights alone on my tree. I think that that is me. I don't have any ornaments right now. I just did not have anything planned. Um, uh, and I was not feeling motivated, like I said, to put up a tree. But now that it's up, I'm really, really excited about it. And I am doing the minimalist, just lights, just warm toned lights on the tree trend. I don't know which one I dread more, like the lights, putting up the lights. The tree took a while, but it was not that bad. I, I mean, it really was not that bad. But honestly, I feel like if obviously putting it on bottom go up would make more sense but um yeah let us do lights now my aunts would normally put up the tree at home which is why i am just so lost and so confused in this life but today's the day i told you guys that the tree would be up so and i'm seeing lola is literally sitting right by me she is just getting ready she is just getting ready should i put it on i feel like if i should put on the lights first and then I will see how it goes. I am not too hopeful with myself though. Oh my god, you guys look how cute it looks. Like look how good it is starting to look. Coco and Lola are just like in awe. So my tree is up, as you guys can see. I really, really love it. I'm happy that I pushed through and got it done and put it up. I'm so in love with it. It really makes this space look so cozy. And like I said, I did a very minimalist tree with no decor or anything. And I'm so happy and in love with it. I did put a few like gifts and stuff at the bottom of it. It's gifts. It's really like PR packages and two things that I bought for myself. Um, but it just looks so nice. And I'm glad like I just pushed through and got it done because oh my goodness, I love it. I really, really do. I am just going to go ahead, eat some sushi now from Leftover Sushi and watch a show. I've been trying to watch Harry and Meghan and I keep falling asleep. So I'll finish that today and then find something else to watch or just watch YouTube, my favorite thing. But it has just been such a fun little day with the tree and everything like that. I feel so much more in the festive spirit of life. So there's that. I finally, I'm feeling something. And my friend and I were saying that we need to go get some stuff, like do some Christmas shopping, figure out life. <laughs> you know, you know how it is. It's like my baby, my first baby. Hi. She's my baby. Oh, it's my second baby. I'm so excited for them more than anything else for the holidays, even though they would not even really take on their gifts. Look how pretty Lola's fur is getting. Look at her. She is so pretty, you guys. Her fur has improved so much since I've had her. It's starting to feel like really nice and velvet. Oh my goodness, you guys. One of my friends has a luxury pet boutique and they gifted Coco and Lola a ton of the nicest little gift like they put it together in a really nice gift basket so i wanted to share it with you in case you wanted some gift ideas of what you can get your cat some ideas and stuff like that i think this was really cute and your cats are gonna love it i just love treating them i barely buy anything for myself anymore it's mainly for them and of course i'll be linking the items down below in case you were looking for gift ideas for your cats 
So first up is this kitten food from Royal Canine. This is really good because Lola is only about three or four months, so that is really good for her. And then I got some of these multivitamins for your cat. I only feed Coco and Lola really healthy snacks. I don't feed them anything just for fun. I feed them for their food and stuff, so they have really, really nice food. I have my fishies. This is Tata Control. I've never used this before, but this looks like a really good um, treat that I can give them. I am literally gonna put some of these in their stockings. Some other treats are from this brand. I had this one already before for Coco, and these are really healthy snacks. This one is the sushi one, and this one is the chicken one. And these are really healthy. They have really good ingredients like sweet potato and salmon and seaweed and stuff like that. I have this Smarty Cat Tree Cat pack of toys. These have catnip in it. I got some fancy feast for them, which is really nice because even though Coco does not eat a ton of wet food, Lola likes her wet food. So I have these. On to the fun things. We have some more toys. These ones are so pretty. They look like magical fairy ones, I will not lie. So this one has like this dangly with the pretty shiny material. And then this one has like a kind of poof on top with this. This is just so much fun and they love playing with these. They made a little candle for the pet boutique. Oh my goodness, my favorite. Look at it. It says meow, it's pink, it's so pretty. And then speaking of that, we have this one, which is a sushi one. Look how cute this looks. So this is like for wet food, since it's just easier for them to eat like that. I got a cork mat. I wanted one of this for so long. I think this will be really good where they have their bowls of food and stuff, like a really nice feeding station. This is a little bag, which is so cute. I can put like little things in it for them. And I got some deodorizing wipes. I've never used this before, but this seems to be really good. You just basically wipe it on them and they kind of freshen up. The last thing I got was this Royal Canine. You guys, this literally looks like Lola when she gets big. It is food for adult cats. I will have some of these linked down below in case you wanted to try any of these for your cats. I also picked up some stuff for myself, but I would not open that now because I will leave that for Christmas if I do a Christmas unboxing or something like that. It's not gonna be anything big because I honestly did not get anything much for Christmas and I mainly get myself everything that I want anyway. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> 